Today's video is on binomial distribution and in today's video, the problem is ready on the screen. See here, 6 dice are thrown 729 times. So, how many dice? 6 dice are thrown 729 times. How many times do you expect at least 3 dice to show 5 or 6? See here, in the question, so how many dice are there? 6 dice are thrown 729 times. How many times do you expect at least 3 dice to show 5 or 6? See, first of all, we have to talk about P. So P is the success. Here, the probability... P is the probability of occurrence of 5 or 6. Occurrence of... 5 or uh, 6. Occurrence of 5 or 6 in 1 throw. See here, on a die, how many values will be there? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. On a die, there will be 6 faces on 6 values will be there. So, what is the probability of occurrence of 5 or 6? Probability of uh, 5 or 6 is nothing but 2 by so this is 2 by 3 so the value of p is equal to this is 2 by 6 so 2 by 6 which is equal to if i cancel the value here will be 1 by 3 so the probability of occurrence of 5 or 6 on uh, a die is nothing but 1 by 3 and we know that the total probability that is p plus q failure plus success the probability of occurrence of 5 or 6 Plus the probability of not occurrence of 5 or 6. The total probability is always equal to 1. Therefore, 1 by 3 plus Q is equal to 1. And so Q value is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3. And Q value is equal to 2 by 3. So we got the value of Q as 2 by 3 and P as 1 by 3. And see, coming to the question here, how many dice are thrown? 6 dice. Here n value is equal to 6. Are thrown for 729 times. How many times do you expect at least to see? See at least also. So there is a lot of importance here. At least 3 dice. 3 dice to show 5 or 6. See from the question how many dice are there? 6 dice. So we have to find out um, the probability that at least 3 dice to show 5 or 6. At least minimum 3 means maximum till 6. Till the value of 6 we have to calculate. That is probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5 plus probability of x is equal to 6. So at least means minimum 6 maximum till 6. And see here r value is equal to 3. And now we are going to calculate see here what is our p value p value is nothing but 1 by 3 so p what is our p value p value is nothing but 1 by 3 and what is our q value so q is equal to 2 by 3 and n value is equal to 6 if i keep on substituting all the values then the value here will be Probability of x is equal to 3 is nothing but I will show you the formula here that is probability of x is equal to r is equal to this is ncr p par r q par n minus r. So this is according to the binomial distribution. So if I substitute for see here probability of uh, x greater than or equal to 3 means this is probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5 plus probability of x is equal to 6. Now we have to uh, calculate all these values. So first for x is equal to 3 r value will be 3. So n c r. So here what is our n value? This is a 6 c 3. What is our p? 1 by 3 par r and next q is equal to this is 2 by 3 par 6 minus 3 n minus r plus for n is equal to 4. So here r is equal to 4. n c 4 this is p par 4 and next this is q par p minus 4 and next for 5 
this is nc5 ncr this is p power 5 and next this is uh, again q 2 by 3 power n minus r what is n n minus 5 that is a 6 minus 5 6 minus 5 and next for the last one r is equal to 6 that is ncr x power r and this is y power n minus r and now we have to keep on calculating so this will be 6 c3 1 by 3 cube and this value is 2 by 3 power 3 and next one 6 c4 this is 1 by 3 power 4 and this is 2 by 3 square and this is a 6 c5 this is 1 by 3 power 5 and this is 2 by 3 power 1 and next one this is a 6 c3 6 c6 this is 1 by 3 power 6 and this is 2 by 3 power 0 so ncr formula formula according to the ncr formula ncr is equal to n factorial by this is n minus r factorial into r factorial so in this we can substitute or else there is a shortcut here so see here so 3 there is 3 number here 3 backward steps that is 6 into 5 into 4 by 3 front steps 1 into 2 into 3 and this value is uh, so so this value is 2 cube by this is 3 power 6 so this value is 3 power 6 and next one there is 4 here 4 backward steps that is 5 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 by 4 front steps that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 this is this value is 2 square so this value is 2 square this is the 3 power 4 3 square so which is again 3 power 6 and next one this value is nothing but 5 backward steps that is 5 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 by 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 front steps 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 and this value is uh, 2 power 1 by again 3 power 6 and next 6 by 6 is 6 is 1 and this value is anything to the power of 0 is 1 so this will be 1 by 3 power 6 and see here we can cancel these values and this will be 20 into 2 cube so this is 2 cube into 3 power 6 and next one see here we can cancel these values so this is uh, 3 5 is so 15 into this value is 2 square by 3 power 6 see here this is 5 4 this is 3 and this is 2 the value here is 6 into this is 2 power 1 into 3 power 6 and this value is 1 into this is uh, 1 by 3 power 6 and see if I take 1 by 3 power 6 common among all these this will be 20 into 2 cube the value here is 8 and this is 15 into 4 and this value is a 6 into 2 and this value is 1 and see this will be 1 by 3 power 6 and this value is 160 and this value is again 60 this is 12 plus 1 and see here the value will be 200 and so this value will be 233 by 7 3 power 6 this is uh, 729 and see now this is the value so this value is nothing but probability of uh, getting at least 3 see our next one here what is in the question 6 dice are thrown for how many times 6 dice are thrown 729 times how many times do you expect at least 3 dice to show 5 or 6 this is at least 3 for showing 5 or 6 and now therefore the expected the expected number of such of such cases in 729 times is equal to see here we have to multiply with this that is 729 into this value is 233 by again 729 if i cancel the expected number of cases in 
seven hundred and twenty nine times is uh, two hundred and thirty three. So this is how we have to solve, and this is also so simple if you follow these steps. First of all, the probability of occurrence of five or six in one throw of a die is this is two by six, and p is equal to one by three, whereas q is equal to two by three. And see here, there are six dice. See here, n is equal to six. So here all the values are ready and we have to calculate the value of getting at least 3. At least 3 means 3 till 6. So after calculating and substituting the values, so this is the value that is 233 by 729. Therefore, the expected number of search cases in such cases in 729 times is nothing but 729 into the probability of getting at least 3. At least uh, 3 to show 5 or 6 that is 233 into 729 so if you cancel they are 239 the answer here is the expected number is 233 thank you so much for watching